Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Today we're doing a heavy haul with a Kenworth C500. I uh, just picked this up uh, today off of the ATS uh, mods.lt, I believe, the, the normal site. Uh, we're in Salem, that's where we're at right now, and I think we're going to Coos Bay with a massive trailer, so that should be a lot of fun. This truck is pretty cool. Uh, the only thing is the interior is uh, default Kenworth truck, and it has some like pink uh, missing textures or something. So we'll have to deal with that. Not a big deal. Let's fire it up and listen to it. Ah, uh, yes, there's that sound. Uh, advanced trailer coupling cannot be turned on with this truck. You won't be able to pick up anything when it's sitting this high up. Now, if you have different wheels, sure, why not? But I'm going with the big ones. Parking brake is going to be released. And listen to this thing. Sounds pretty awesome. Here's the interior. Like I was saying, it has uh, some weird missing textures happening there uh the trailer is back here on our left so we're gonna go right around the corner and pick it up it's early early morning getting close to about 4 a.m so we should uh we should be all right here we'll see pull out of this guy go to the right and we'll back in from there around the corner is where that trailer should be if memory serves correct okay Go ahead and go, uh, let's do our hazard lights and back this thing on up. I'm going to R1 high, so it's not so high up there in RPM. Okay, looking okay there. There's the trailer lines right there. Should be all right here with advanced trailer coupling turned off. Should be able to slide it right on in there. Let's see how it works. Yep, it's good right there. All right, before we do, well, we can't do that. Uh, we have to be able to uh, attach it before we do our tug test. It's just, it's just limitations of the game. This isn't real life. I know some people uh, like to complain about that. Let's go ahead and put this in low low. Oh yeah, that thing is ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll turn these guys off. We'll go beacon lights on, headlights on. We're ready to rock and roll. Check this thing out. Got our flags back there. Now this uh, mod, it has some customization to it. Not a whole lot. Uh, you can't put any uh, flags or oversized load placards in the front of it, sadly. But that's okay. All right, so this is a long trailer. We're gonna need to uh, really, really dance around this. It's got 1,000 horsepower in it, man. It's got some, it's got some oomph. I will say that to drive up on this berm. Look at this. Yes. And that's going to be close regardless. We should be okay here if we don't hit anything too bad. Oh, that is going to be super close. Just hug this blue. Did they make that to where it can't get out? Oh, I think we're going to be just enough room there. Just enough. Yup, we cleared it. Barely. Man. All right, cool. So yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to swing pretty wide for this thing. We are, we are. All right, so it is early morning. What time is it? I always forget. Uh, 4:13 a.m. So very early in the morning, leaving Salem, We're going out to Coos Bay. So we got a little bit of a, a journey ahead of us here. I'll wait to get a screenshot later whenever the the sun is out. That'll look cool. Surprisingly enough, it's not raining. So we're gonna take that as a win. As we get on this road, let's go ahead and go to the outside view so you can see this thing in action. Look at that. That looks so cool. Look at that beast. It's got a pretty good jake brake on it too. Listen to this. Pretty darn good. Good stuff right there. Okay, making a right turn up here, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so that this should have been third low there, and then second. Okay. Yeah, so I've got a pretty um pretty big number on the differential of this transmission, so uh, we gotta get used to that. Alright, we're gonna have to go into the grass to make this. Those are gonna take the stop side down, I have a feeling. If that stop sign wasn't there, it wouldn't be so bad, but unfortunately it is. 
Somebody come from the left. Nobody on the right after this log truck. Let's do it. Let's swing for this trailer here. Might still end up catching that stop sign. We should be good there. Don't mind me, Mr. Truck. I think we made it without hitting the sign. It would have cut that a little bit close on the inside. It would have knocked it down for sure. That's one thing with these big, massive hauls like this and this truck. This truck is huge. I mean, look at that length you got right there until you get back to the trailer. With that, you know, keeping that in mind, you're going to have to swing this sucker pretty darn good. All right, that car's going to stay put. We should be all right here. We just kind of dip out like this and then turn left and put our right tires next to this grass. It still might cut it a little close, but we'll see. Now, that's pretty good. It, I don't think it would, uh, would have come close to clipping a car. What do we got up here? This looks like a gate. Uh, it has little beacons on top I can see there, so I'm assuming that they're going to open this for us. They should, hopefully. Um, GPS, what are you doing to me? Okay, there they are. Sweet. They're opening the gate for us. Look at this old abandoned truck here. That's a big truck, too. Kind of looks similar to this thing. All right. Let's roll. Hope your week is off to a great start. It's good to be back in town. I was in St. Louis for the weekend. Visiting family and friends, like I said last time. It was good to be back in St. Louis. It really was. I, I enjoyed that trip. Missed my family. I'm going to have to start going back a lot more often than I do. Because that was the first time I had been back in St. Louis uh, in a year. Believe it or not. Crazy how fast time flies by. There's a truck sitting up here with his lights on. What's he doing? Just hanging out, sleeping. No, that's awesome. A big cistern trailer or something there. Milk trailer. Oh, got another gate. Can't crash this gate doing 98. All right, they're going to open it for us. Thank you so much for that. And put this in low, low. Seems like we're on a little bit of a hill here. Yeah, we are. I'm just going too low there. It's not a big deal. All right, we made it to that. No problem. We have a little bit of more driving in front of us. So let's go to the outside view again so we can check this beautiful thing out. God, that looks awesome. The uh, taillights on it are pretty obnoxiously bright, though. Such an interesting truck. It really is. View here. Let's turn our uh, bright lights on. That's our final gear there. Six low. It is a 13 speed. Man, that's cool. Camera. I always forget about all these different camera views in this game. Pretty good. All right, we're going around this bend and then. That's the highway right there. Are we getting on the highway finally soon? Oops. Excellent. Oh, all these lights in this uh, this controller, uh, that the joystick that's on this uh, rim is so flimsy on the Spark R3A3. Really not happy with it, to be honest with you. It's it's pitiful. And it, it it's like when you move it left or right, it, it clicks the up and down. And you only have so many buttons on it to map to lights and stuff, so. Not the end of the world. We're all right here. We got headlights on. We got our beacons on. We're, we're, we're fantastic. I often get uh, people telling me all the time, you can't drive heavy loads at night, yada, yada, yada. Uh, honestly, I'm not. Uh, I've already got to play games with, with the game to get daytime runs. 
as it is, this is as close as we're going to get. Um, I had a tra uh, fast travel to different places to try to get not only a, uh, a heavy haul load to spawn anywhere near where I was, but um, to try to get any kind of daylight in a run was going to be basically impossible. So I don't care about that whole rule in the real world or whatever. This is a video game. It is a America Truck Simulator, but it's still a game. I don't care about little details like that, honestly. That's just nitpicking. That's like the whole the whole tug test thing. I almost stopped doing tug tests altogether because it just became such a debacle of you gotta do a tug test this way. But there are limitations in the game. You can't do everything like you can in real life. Alright, which way are we going here, bud? Going straight. Eugene, next left. Oh, we know where we're at. There's the, uh, the airfield there. Oh, they're going to take us down a fun road, I have a feeling. This is going to be a fun, fun road. At least it will be daytime. Which will be cool because I really want to see these textures. Uh, you know, the late autumn textures. Oh, Mr. Carr, what are you doing? We got our outside view here. Have a look around. Since we're under the lights here. That's a beast of a truck, man. That's pretty awesome. Should we get in the green here? Oh, this lane ends, bud. And this bus is not going to beat us. Sorry. Not going to let that happen. All right, so the uh, the autumn mod basically tells you to uh, turn off your other graphics mods, but in testing it seemed like it was okay. I didn't see any like crazy anomalies, so if we just we see anything insane, we'll know what is causing that. Fifty five through here, man. That's gonna be a tall drink of water. But uh, with this new mod, what it does is it creates like mist, uh, you know, like that, it's that wintry feel. It's really, it feels like it's cold outside because it is. This time of the year in Oregon has got to be pretty interesting. Got to be pretty cold. And that was a big shock to me when I went back to St. Louis, man. It was, it was freezing. I don't think I ever got warm that entire trip. Never got warm. It's got to be like, what, 5, 6 in the morning now? 6 a.m. Perfect. I'm trying to get it up to 55 here, people. We are trying here. We don't want to go too fast. This is a pretty large size. What I'm doing right now, we're, we're in the final gear of the truck. I'm just kind of letting it coast down the hill here because the speed limit is 55. We don't need to really do anything too crazy. And the uh, Jake brake on this thing is absolutely mean. It will stop it in a heartbeat. I'd get over if I could there for you, Jeep, but not happening. Yep, open it up. Yeah, I saw some other videos of people using this truck in uh, on YouTube. It had a different dashboard on it, so I don't know what that's all about. Mods come and go so fast, and they, they always get worked on, and a new update comes out, and they have to redo it. Speaking of updates, man, LSPDFR is broken again. Well, ELS in particular, because there was an update. Now, what is so strange is I, I have it to where it isn't uh, going to do that. Oh, we had a little bit of a frame hiccup there. Um, I had it set up to where it would not do that. And what I mean is it won't update the game unless I tell it it can through Steam. Um, and I didn't have it auto update. I had to manually do it. And I update that into the, the vanilla folder and then I reactivate my LSPFR folder. Uh, but regardless, every time it seems no matter how hard I try, something gets broken. And in this particular case, the issue was uh, the advanced hook with ELS is broke. So no ELS vehicles. So I'm working on it, trying to figure it out, trying to fix it. 
kind of a pain in the ass, but what are you going to do? Look at this. 1,000 horsepower just absolutely coming to life here. What are we doing? Okay. Yeah, we're doing all right there. We just got to hug that yellow a little bit more. There we go. This thing is doing pretty damn good. Very impressed with this truck. 45. We're already at 45, so we're good on the speed. Yep, getting some more hiccups. We might get some hiccups when we get down towards um, Astoria. Well, we're not going to Astoria. We're going to be south of Astoria, so. As we head down towards Coos Bay, there's one little town that always gets uh, some hiccups, but we got to fix. Oh, I see the damn. Uh, you probably saw it the whole time. The, uh, the temperature gauge. It's right there on the RPM, the bottom there. 40 degrees outside, so I wasn't lying. It is cold. It is freezing. Just a tad. How are we on fuel? Good on fuel. Not bad at all. Look at this thing. They're in the daytime. That sun is starting to come up. Is that auto save kicking in? All right, we're making a left up here, so this will be fun. Come on, truck. I think we got a horn in this. Yes, we do. What is it? What, what is happening up there? That van is an idiot. Oh, uh, somebody crash up there. It looks like they might have. Oh, it looks like they might have. Hopefully they can figure this out and we'll be okay. Because we cannot go anywhere. We're pretty much stuck here for right now. Unless that changes. Right, we got the green light again, but we cannot. They're not they're gonna be broken. They're not gonna work. Oh van, please don't do anything. Don't come this way. I'm gonna go around you. The only thing I can do. This van is broken. That explorer is like, I'm coming out regardless. There's nowhere for me to go here. There really is not. And the game just kind of absolutely borked it all up. I'm going to try to get this trailer around these cars, but it's going to be almost impossible. It might be okay here. Nope, it's going to hit that car regardless. There's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes this game does some stupid stuff with the AI, and you can't, uh, you can't, you can't get upset about it. You just... Keep on trucking. Because I sat through about four lights, four to five lights there. Uh, I think it was five total. Waiting to see if they would figure their shit out, but they never did. So I was like, we got to do something crazy. I actually didn't get a vehicle collision alert, so we might have actually made it just by him. I, it, I doubt it somehow, though. I really do. Going to sunshine crops there, bud? Looks like it. All right. Let's get out of this town and we'll get back on the road. Back up the speed. Historic Bayfront. Yep. This is where last time I uh, had the frames absolutely die so looks like it should be okay this time around there's a school bus there you see us yep they're good 35 over the bridge look at that sunset or sunrise there that's amazing Yakina bay historical district here nice let's get some outside view action all right no bother i tried to get uh, some outside views there but uh the traffic when they go whizzing by it like resets the camera kind of like how gta does it we gotta cross that no problem the sun is coming up and uh with this mod it should make it uh, later in the day let's see yeah 725 and that uh sun is should be up a little higher than that Normally it would be. Don't pull out in front of me, please. Thank you. All right, I don't know what this car is going to do. Looks like we're just going to stick to the left lane here. Slow her down. I want to go to the aquarium. I do. 
Sweet. Yeah, we've been in this exact uh, place before. This is where we were whenever I had to uh, fix the game when it was losing all those frame rates that day. So when we were going to Coos Bay, I think we were taking some logs. That's what that run was all about. On a 101 South. I'm pretty sure this lane's the right lane's going to end anyway, so I'll just stick to this lane. I'm fine with that. Could be way worse. See that truck over there. It's 45 through here, so. Yeah, look how misty it is. That is cool. Some neat stuff. 55. Yep, right lane ended. I had a feeling it was going to do that, so it's a good good thing we did that way. Yeah, this is where the AI starts losing their minds too, where they get in that lane and they get back over to the right. He might do it, but looks like he's gonna commit to the left. Yep, he did. Sweet. Alright, now it's gonna get a lot more challenging this route because we have a massive trailer and we have some pretty good turns coming up here. Be ready for that. See how that gets about right there. We want to be about right here with that trailer. That's pretty good. Look at that ocean over there on the right. You can barely see it. It's misty, man. Yeah, see that trailer getting over there? We have to really start to swing for these guys, especially with all these trucks around here. Man, that could be absolutely catastrophic. We weren't doing a good job of swinging this trailer. It's just such a long vehicle. I don't even know how we're going to be able to, to drop it off, honestly. Another little bridge here. We'll be up in the woods before you know it. Yeah, gray skies. Misty mornings. Let me get a screenshot. I'll be right back. And we are back in action. Got a cool uh, picture of it going across the the bridge there. Boy, look at these turns that are coming up. This is going to get interesting here. And now it gets more difficult. Got to manage speed. 35 through here. Okay. But we have the hill, so I was going to help it slow down without losing too much momentum. Just got to watch our uh, swing on the trailer around these corners. There's that thousand horsepower kicking in, man. It's it's got enough to get it done. We lost about mm, not much at all. We're right at the uh, speed limit. We're going a little fast. All right, now we get to go down the hill, and that's going to be where it gets interesting. Our customer expects it early. I'm sure you do. Okay, let's downshift here. Just be careful around these corners. We have to use a Jake brake. We will just keep it on going around. Getting close to that yellow line. I'm gonna keep it in five low for now. This seems like a good, uh, a good balance there. To have control over the gear, you know. Rest area next right for the Washburn State Park. We're not going there today. This thing's doing pretty good, man. Very impressed. We're having such a heavy load on this thing. Actually, I didn't even see what the uh, actual weight was on this trailer. Let me check that in a minute once we get out of this technical section. I'm really close to that guy. Slow. You gotta like butt up next to that yellow line when you're doing those right turns too. I mean, look at that. A little bit more to the right. You can always tell whenever you're uh, cutting it close because the AI will freak out and they'll slam the brakes and be like, oh shit. What's this guy doing? Oh, we have a nice turn to the right here. Jake, break it down. Swing for it. We're okay there. Made through that.
It's wheeling at 50. We get to go through the tunnel. Look at that. It's so cool. I love this part of the road. So far in the Oregon uh, DLC, it's been tough to get, you know, loads to go to different places uh, in the map. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to probably have to go back to my uh, a different truck and then get... Um, get my custom trailer, do a custom trailer, then I might be able to get some decent runs. But the freight market up here seems very scarce into what you want to do if you want to explore the whole place. I think if you want to explore, you're going to have to do it the other way. I think you're going to have to... Okay, we're going to just keep it in five low here. And man, just speed that way. It is a 50, but we have a downhill section here. Jake break down the hill. It's not too bad. No, we're pretty good there. That wasn't bad at all. Let me go to six low. Sweeping turn to the left. Let's put that pedal down. We'll be okay. Only lost five miles per hour on that one. That, that's full power in our last gear. Getting up that hill there. Yeah, no problem with that. It's a 50 zone, so try to keep it in that vicinity. There's a police officer there. Don't worry, Mr. Officer. I'm not speeding or anything. Don't you worry about me. I'm all right. Not too much further we'll be in Coos Bay. You can already see it showing up on the thing. Ooh, that's going to be a scary one there. Everybody's slowing way down. This is Coos Bay. Welcome. I'm going to get over here. I don't know which way I need to uh, go here shortly, but where we're dropping off exactly. Probably the uh, rail export. <laughs> My luck. Okay, let's slow way down here. 35. Well, we're doing all right. We're doing 30. I don't trust these cars in this intersection. Remember last time I came through here, they were just were powering right through it. I always love those vans. It was so cool. A Vandura or a... Something like that. Yeah, I'm just going to stay here to the right. We're fine on fuel. This is a good spot to be. Even though this uh, lane looks like it's going to end. Although, I don't Maybe not. I just think it's just these, these guys not knowing what they're doing here. And we missed that light because that Walbert truck decided he wanted to get over and go around whatever is going on here. I don't know what that all entails. Let's look. Okay. Oh, there's a car up there. Okay. Maybe we'll be okay. I'm just paranoid because we had, you know, that van in that other town screw us. I don't want to have another one of those kind of situations happen. But let's look at our uh, load here. Uh, yeah. 77,500 pounds. That's pretty good. Nope, we're rolling. We know how short these lights can be, so let's get going. Yep, stay right here on the right-hand side. Um, I can see where we're dropping off, but I'm not sure if it's outside of town or not. It's probably going to be outside of town. I would imagine it would be. Yeah, these AR just freaking out, man. Lane to lane to lane. Pick a lane. Okay, 35 through here. What's that thing? That's a ship. <laughs> That's really cool. Couple ships there. Alright, making a right turn up this way and then find our way to Placer and Sons eventually. There's 
slowing this puppy down. Actually, we're going to protect our lane. We're going to go here to the to the left and swing for this. Nobody's coming from there, so we should be all right. Yeah, that was good. Almost clipped the gr grass a little bit there, but hey, that's all right. We made it here to the uh, to the port. Slow it down. A little bit of a swing here. Yeah, there's a car that we would have creamed them. We would have had to swing a little bit wider for that. Making a right turn up here, and it's pretty much an S turn to get into there. That doesn't look like fun. Nobody there. Nobody that way. Let's try to do this S turn thing. This looks like a nightmare to drop off at. As I kind of figured it would be. Man, this is going to be tough. And pull it in. Oh, that's where they want it over there. Okay. Really? Damn. I thought we had that cleared, but you only know, learn something new every day. We just absolutely smacked that thing. I'm trying to go as wide as I could there. All right, I guess we go straight in. Come on, man. Clear that first. Some of these maps in, in the heavy halls, man, they just don't play well together at all. Yeah, then we're just going to go straight here, it looks like. That's what they want us to do. So let's try this. I cannot believe I hit that, uh, that gate. That was my fault. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Let's try to straighten it out right here. This is looking pretty good. Just kind of hang out right here. Oh, there's another trailer in the way. I just want to get this trailer right in between these lines and I should be happy with it. I'm going to low, low here and just creep this thing. Yes. All right. Well, other than hitting that gate and some other little things, we did it. Let's go ahead and decouple. See what we got. We got a late. Okay. Well, we had to take our time, but they did not like that. 211 miles. Time taken, 6 hours, 57 minutes. Fuel consumed, 29.4 gallons of fuel. There we go. Current company job offers. They have anything out of here? Yep, same kind of thing. Santa Fe, Yuma, and Barstow. But we're not doing any of that, that's for sure. Well, that is going to do it for this episode of America Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought of the C500 uh, below in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.